Hi, everybody. My name is Arno, Senior Technical Artist. And I'm Julian, 3D Technical Artist. In this video series, we'll present to you the easiest way to develop an interactive HMI with the Qt tools. Today, we will talk about how you can export your UI design and import that to the Qt Design Studio. For that, let us start in a third-party design tool. In this case, we will work with Figma. We identified Figma as the most used UI design tool, and therefore it's the most supported UI design tool from our side. This support comes through our Bridge plugin. For Figma, Sketch, Adobe XD, and Photoshop. Before we think about exporting our UI design from Figma to the Qt Design Studio, we need to take a closer look at the structure of our UI design. We are using what we call an atomic design approach. By that we mean that we make a component out of every different part of our UI design we want to have interactions with. After we have all our components ready, we assemble them on a different page of our Figma file to our final screen design. After that, we can think about the export. And I now will show you how you can set up your Bridge plugin. Now, let's uh, have a look to our Figma Bridge. Um, first of all, uh, you can see the export button, the blue button. By clicking here, uh, you will generate the metadata file. The metadata file will include um, all the graphical assets, all the components, and information uh, like size, positioning, structure. But before a press on this button, first of all, you have to select all your graphical assets, group, components, and choose how you want to export as. So there are the choice. Uh, of course, component will be export uh, as a component. If it's not a component, it's a child. Um, you can merge different groups or graphical assets. The goal here is, uh, of course, to simplify your export. And uh, you can choose to skip your selection because by default, you will export all your uh, Figma file. Now, uh, let's talk a bit about naming. Um, so in this ICU, uh, you will import uh, the Figma assets, including the naming, and by work um, on the animations, on the logic globally, you will generate some code, which will include the naming. If you want a clean code, you need a clean naming. So my advice is for the designer to synchronize uh, with the developer uh, about the naming rules. Now let's go on the setting. On the setting, of course, you have to choose how you want to export your graphical assets, graphical image, as a JPEG, as a PNG, or as a SVG. And for the other choice, uh, because of we are on Figma, uh, all options are available. So please, uh, for the selection, let's uh, keep it as a checked. You have about. Uh, you will retrieve all information about the Qt bridge for Figma. Now, you have the base of the knowledge to press, to click uh, on the button and uh, importing your files on uh, Design Studio. Let me now present to you quickly the quick control template on Figma. What's the goal of this template? Uh, it gives you a list of control, like a button. You can copy and paste uh, this button on your own Figma file, and of course, customize it. On Design Studio, we will not import only graphical button assets. You will import a quick control assets, like a button already clickable. It's a QML component. Let's have a look right now uh, on the structure of this uh, Figma template. You have, of course, uh, the button right here. You can copy and paste. You have the details of the 
components with all the variants, and the prototyping part, which will be uh, very useful uh, on the Figma and on Design Studio to challenge your customization. Uh, here you have the list of the controls currently available, like uh, checkbox, button, dial, slider, and so on and so on. I added uh, a link of the YouTube video of Brooke Cronin. He will be explained with more details how to work with this very useful template. The last thing we want to show you in this video is our cute bridge tutorial. You get access to this file together with the Figma Bridge plugin. Here, one of our solution engineers collected best practices for preparing your Figma file for the export to Design Studio. So you can work faster and more aligned with the working process in Qt Design Studio. We wish you a happy learning experience and we will provide you with different links in the video description.